Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you an unboxing video. I feel like it has been a really long time since I've done an unboxing video. Probably since the like Nocturnal Readers box days. But um, a rep from Paper Charm uh, contacted me and wanted to know if I would love to receive this little package here and show it to you guys here on my channel. And so I accepted because Inside this box is a new middle grade fantasy book, and it's called Smail Home by C.L. Williams. So I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing, show you the book, tell you what it's about, and then if you think you might want to buy it, I'm going to have a link down below where you can go and purchase it. I think it would be, the reason I accepted it was because I think it would be a great book for middle grade merch. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first of all, I just have to show the way that they wrapped this. It's so cute. They put a little tag on it with my name on it, which is so adorable. <laughs> and a really just kind of nice touch. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh. So this is kind of what it looks like when you open the box. And this little envelope here says, Reader of Magic. Oh my gosh, and... It's got a wax seal. Oh my goodness. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever received a letter that had a wax seal on it, but that is a really nice touch. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. Oh, it just says, I hope you enjoy Smail Home, Claire. It's a thank you card. So I'm assuming that Claire is C.L. Williams, the author of the book. So, and then they wrapped the book in this really cute paper. So yeah, this is like really nice. And, oh, let me get this out really quick before. There's a little pin. Oh, it's cute. It's a little book that says Reader of Magic. If it's gonna focus, there we go. So that's cute. I love a good pin. And let's go ahead. Okay, so right off the bat you get um, some art cards and it looks like on the back um, they have quotes from the books. So this one here says, what should I call it I wonder, for every good place has a name, Smail home I say to myself, after the tower itself, the smallest of homes and the most ordinary of places, my secret, a big secret of the smallest kind. So that's cute. And then this one here, oh, that's a really interesting little rabbit creature. Um, it says, for a quag bargain is always kept. Okay, and then the last one, ooh, that's really cool. The last one says, what stares back at me is a limitless blanket of black, punctuated only with the light of the moon and stars. So, cool. And then... It wouldn't be a book box without a bookmark, right? And it's really cute, and it just says Believer on both sides. So yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. And then this book is so pretty, you guys. Look at this, it's a naked hardback. Um, look at that. Isn't that so cute? So um, basically, this book, um, the short of it, is it is a middle grade fantasy book. Um, and they said in the little info that they sent me is that it's like The Hobbit meets The Borrowers, which sounds really cool, right? So I'm going to um, read you the, the synopsis really quickly and see if it's something that you might like to read. Okay, so it says, Shh, can you keep a secret? In wild medieval Britain, 13-year-old Wynne Hoppengol has a big secret of the smallest kind. She has discovered a miniature village hidden close to her family home of Smailholm Tower. When tales of merciless border raiders reach the small folk, they realize they are in danger and must seek a cure to their strange predicament. Can Wynne help her tiny friends, or will the scheming King Quag have other ideas? Heroes, it seems, come in all sizes. So yeah, this looks like a really cute book. Um, Perfect for middle grade March. Uh, I don't read a lot of fantasy, but middle grade fantasy is one that I can definitely get down with. And um, yeah. Oh, look at the end page. Oh my gosh, those end pages are so cute. I didn't notice that at first, but yes. So yeah, this is a really nice book. 
Um, and like I said, I'm going to put a link down below so that if you want to order your own copy to read, you can do that. Um, and let me know if you do, because I would love to know if anybody else is going to be reading this, especially for middle grade March. I'm going to, like I said, hold on to it for middle grade March. And yeah, I can't wait to read this and let you guys know what I think of it. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this little unboxing. I just want to say a thank you again to Paper Charm for sending me this box. Um, and I'm glad that I was able to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. So I hope that you're having a wonderful week. And I will talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.